Hi, welcome to Research and Analysis. In our last tutorial, we have discussed the difference between full and partial mediation. And in this tutorial, I will demonstrate you how you can interpret your results and how can you conclude whether there is a full mediation or the partial mediation. So this is the data we have. In order to examine the mediation model, what you need to do is go to Analyze and in analyze there is an option of regression and in regression if you have process just click the process macro because it is more convenient to run mediation and you know even the moderation uh, in SPSS so you should have process being attached with your SPSS software so just click as process and from here you need to first Select, let's select your IV. Let here we have CSR EMP. And then we have RDV OCBO. And we are considering one mediator effective commitment AC. And in order to run a simple mediation model, we need to select model number four. And from the options, we can just click. Yes, this one show total effect model because we may need it and I guess that's just fine be less than 0.05 and just continue and finally we can click OK. When we will we'll click OK then we will need to wait for a few seconds and then you will there will be another window output window from where we can see the results. Well, this is the output window we have. First, we need to confirm whether the model is for YOCBO, XCSRMP, or mediator factor commitment. First of all, the impact of CSR in EMP, our impact of our IV on mediator factor commitment, you can see it is significant as p value is less than 0 0.01, and also in the interval, there is no zero. And the next step, uh, we can see the impact of factor commitment on OCBO, mean our the impact of our mediator on our DV. These two conditions are mandatory. There should be a significant impact of our IV to mediator and also from mediator to DV. And then we will directly go to this step total direct and indirect effect and from here you can see the total effect but we are more interested in direct and indirect effect and from here we can actually conclude whether there is partial mediation or full mediation from here you can see the indirect effect is significant as in this interval there is no zero but in order to see whether there is a full mediation or the Partial mediation, we will rely on the direct effect of X on Y. So you can see the effect is direct effective significant. So this means if there is a medi mediation and also the direct effect is also significant, then this means that there is a partial mediation. Suppose if we have the results like this that the indirect effect is significant, but the direct effect is insignificant, then it means that we have full mediation. But in this case, as we have the indirect effect is significant, it means there is a mediation, uh, but the direct effect of X on Y it is also significant. So we will conclude based on these results that there is a partial mediation in this model. So I hope this video will help you to understand the difference between partial and full mediation while running your analysis in SPSS. Thanks for watching.